Oh, we've got more resin in the mail. Hey guys, my name is Jared and you're watching 3DHP and I'll show you what I got right after this. Welcome back. 3D Resin Solutions here in the U.S. just sent me out some resin. Let's see what we got. You drop it down so I can see what we got here. I love these things. They're fun to pop and step on and jump on and make noise. We got lots of them in there. Alrighty. I think that was everything in the box. Let me see. Yep. 3D resin solutions for industry and application. Protopolymer resin. See what we got here on the paperwork. That see I one kilogram of cool gray. They're fast, fast, max white, and they're tough gray. So we'll take a look at all three bottles, and this video will be about one of the bottles. Each I'm gonna do a total of three videos. We're gonna print with the different resins and test the products. So let's see what we got here. Hero 3D printing resin. It's one bottle. Nice container. Let's open up the box here and check out the other two. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, at Christmas time, I like to go to the store and play with all the buttons, toys, make noise, you know. Irritates the hell out of my wife, so I love those airbags. Check out the box here. Handle with care. Avoid direct sunlight. Keep away, keep away from the reach of children. Shake well before each use. Avoid skin contact, of course. Always wear protective gloves and eye protection. Use in a well-ventilated area. If on skin, wash with plenty of soap and water. Contact a doctor if you feel unwell. Read all safety information. The SDS are available from download online at their website. After printing, use your high, highly concentrated ethanol, ISO alcohol, or hero wash and or hero wash to soak your prints, removing any excess uncured resin. Store in a sealed container. Best used at or above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Alrighty. Let's check out 3D Resin website or 3D RS on our Artesian Guild. Let me pull it up on the screen here. And here we are at 3DResinSolutions.com. Let's see what they got here. Will you buy any of the resin, you can download their model to print. And there's their Hero 3D printing resin. The looks like the three that I have, the Cool Gray and the Max White. You go up here to the store. You got lots of different types of resin for different types of uh, projects, different things you're working on. Yeah, standard res MSLA, standard, fast, hero tough, engineering resin, gasket and seal. Uh, 3D RS mud resin, that's a mixture of different types of resins. Let's see, 3D pigments, 3D cleaners. Recommended settings for different printers. They do not have my uh, Mighty 4K in here. But they do have different settings for some printers. They're always adding new things to it. And their contact information. And let's check out Artesian Guild. And here's Artesian Guild over at My Mini Factory, and they also have a Patreon at patreon.com slash Artesian Guild. But it's just crazy the amount of models they got here, the SDLs for these minis. It's just unbelievable. They got so many. These are so awesome. Let's 
so many here. It's like this goes on forever and ever. I mean, it's just crazy. And they're always coming out with new things on their Patreon and posting here on uh, my mini factory. Just scrolling through them. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And I picked uh, some random models that I'm going to be printing with. But this is so cool. Really cool. Hope I'm not scrolling too fast for you guys. Today's video is being sponsored by 3DRS or 3D Resin Solutions and Artesian Guild. And in this video today, we're going to be trying out 3DRS's fast, cool gray. It's a very flexible resin. The minis are going to come out great. And if you drop them off the counter or get mad and throw them against the wall, if you're losing the game, it won't hurt them. I mean, it's awesome stuff here. So let's get to printing. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to tweak my settings in Cheetah Box. These were pre-supported. Looks like only one part uh, didn't get pulled off the support, so... I'm going to clean up the bat and uh, start over. Awesome, it's done. Let's see what we got here. It appears when I load up the build plate, I get failures. When I don't load it up, they come out fine. Why? I have absolutely no idea. My support density has been increased, which I've been doing for quite a while. And I usually don't have failures, but as you've seen in the pictures, the model is pulling off the supports. It's ad adhered properly to the build plate, the flex plate, no problem. The supports are there, but then I was losing the model, was pulling off. And even though my density was increased, my depth was increased in Cheetah Box, I was still having issues. So this time I just put one figure on it with uh, one weapon, and it looks like it came out great. No idea why that's happening. And then I got the base there. Yeah. Well, it came out real good. Let's go ahead and pop them off. off them supports yeah it's gonna be awesome once that's cured it's gonna be very flexible supports are very soft I'll throw that in my mean green then in my IPA completely dry it or I cure it Very cool. Gotta get the rest of the supports off there, but. Awesome, the print just got done on the Elegoo Martyrs. I haven't used this in a little bit. See how it came out. Looking good. And this resin is very rubber-like, very flexible. So once it's cured, it's very impact resistant. Go ahead and clean that up with some Mean Green IPA and they can break all those supports off. But yeah, they break off real easy. Awesome, it's done. Cool. Came out very nice. No issues.
Very cool. I'm gonna throw in my main green, clean them up. Throw in my IPA, take a bowl of supports, let them dry, and then we'll uh, cure them. Very nice, very nice. Hey, they're all done. But yeah, I had some failures as you've seen, and I'll show you here on the screen. But, you know, I started out printing some really big, heavy things that were solid printed in resin. I had medium supports on it, and I had increased the density into the model by five, like I did a few months back when I first got this Sonic Frozen, Sonic Mighty 4K, if I can get the name right, it's mouthful there. But, yeah, I had some failures, and, uh, you know, everything was attaching to the build plate just fine. The supports were there, but then different parts of the model was pulling off and winding up in the resin, and I, I tried that three or four times, and I wasted a lot of resin. So I started putting things directly on the build plate, going with smaller models, and they printed fine. And then one of these I even printed on my old goo Mars. I don't remember which one it was, but one was on the Mars, the original Mars, and the rest were on the, were on the 4K uh, Mighty Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K. There I go. Anyway, yeah, let's check them out. Check out the detail here. The detail is just unbelievable. I mean, these are really cool. And like I said earlier, I, I should have done this years ago. All the wrists have ball joints on the wrists so you can position the weapons wherever you want. And obviously, since you can print them separately, you can interchange them in the models. And the bases print separately. But these are beautiful. And once this is completely cured, these are still very flexible. You can see here the arm. I don't know if you can see it moving there. It's still flexible. And when I went to clean it up with a razor knife on a few little tiny supports after it was cured, it peels off. It's kind of like those army men you had as a kid. They're soft plastic and kind of crush them, and it doesn't hurt them. Well, this resin appears to be the same way. And it's, it's printing really nice. Let's go on to the next one here. But check this out. That is so cool. Very nice. I don't know the names of all these. I have so many that I did to pick from, to print. I don't remember the exact names. I'm sure somebody watching will know automatically which ones these are. I don't know. I'd have to do a little research on it. But, yeah, this is very cool. These are all printed solid. Of course, something this small, I'm not going to try to hollow it. But very cool. And check her out. She's got her anvil there. Her sword and hammer. Unbelievable. And let's go on to this one here. Unbelievable. And like I say, the sword, see how it's flexible? It has give to it. And you drop it, it's not going to hurt it. Sure, there's tiny parts that if you threw them against the wall, you, you might break something off. But more than likely, I think you're just going to bend it. I mean, very flexible. It's not brittle resin. So many of my resins I've had in the past is very brittle. But this is definitely not brittle. That is so cool. But yeah, very flexible. You know, like I say, take them, drop them on the counter. Oh, well, that one came off the base. See, I had that super glued to the base, and it, that came off the base. But it didn't didn't hurt the model. I mean, let's take them all. Okay, here we go. Yeah, very cool. I love these things. And I've got more to print. You know, I've got two more bottles of resin I'm testing from 3DRS. So I'm working on some other projects, and as we speak, I'm currently in their printing right now, working on different things. But yeah, uh, very cool. And if you spend over $100, I believe they got free shipping at 3DRS, 3D Resin Solutions, Artesian Guild. I showed you over in my mini factory and their Patreon. These are so cool. These minis are, you know, they're so cool. And this resin printed really nice. It's just that I had an issue on that particular uh, resin printer printing large, heavy things, and the models were pre-supported, so I went in, and a lot of them I supported myself. That way I could adjust the settings, and I got more penetration depth, and then I had no problem whatsoever. But, I had, like I said, I had three or four failures, so I got it right. Uh, but, yeah, really cool, and we, we're, we're currently printing. I think we're working on the Hero Resin. I think that's what I'm on for the next video is the Hero Resin. So, hey, please check them out. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video. I'd really appreciate it. Hey guys, and one more thing. Let me show you a close-up on a turntable of all these models, and then right after that, I'll have close-up pictures right before the ending. And please stick around to the end. I really appreciate it. And like, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps me to keep bringing you great content all the time. I do my best. Thank you very much. Check these out.